Welcome to another exciting instalment of Jamie Reviews Ouya Games. Um, the Ouya shop, it should be shutting down tomorrow. I don't know if that means I've got, you know, a couple of days because it'll go up until midnight. Or it, look, it will literally shut down at midnight tonight. But, and I don't know what it means if it does shut down. I've downloaded a lot of games, as you can see. Uh, just the free demos, of course, so I'm not going to pay any more money for this. Um, but yeah, this might be the last one. It might not be. Let's uh, play a game and find out. So this is Another World, 20th Anniversary Edition. So it's been 20 years since the original Another World, Another World um, debuted 1991, apparently. So this must have come out in 2011. Um... I had no idea, I have no knowledge of the first one, so apologies. Looks interesting enough. Um, let's hit play. Intro. Arrival. Intro sounds a decent place to start. Oh, got a car. Got some interesting. Uh, Graphic style here. Looks all very mysterious. I'm already getting the sense that this might actually be a decent game. I mean, I know an intro cinematic isn't very any indication of how good the game is, but like, I feel like they've gone for you know, some man walking in. Through the elevator, after going down several floors, all very mysterious. I feel like they've gone for aesthetic more than kind of graphics or anything, and that's usually a good sign for a good game, I'd say. Like this looks like a game where they know their limitations and they're gonna work towards it. I see you have driven here in your Ferrari. Also loving this kind of like, I don't know, 80s sci-fi theming. Copyright. Peanuts Computer Inc. All rights reserved. CDOS version 501 from Project 23. Like getting a very Tron-y kind of vibe. Relating to particle accelerator. Ooh. For an experiment? Yes. Ejection of particles in the shield analysis. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gone for the intro cinematic because I can't really tell you much about what's going on. I mean, I'm hooked. I want to know what this guy's doing. The game's called Another World. He's probably going to open a dimension right about now. Is that a bit of lightning? Very windy outside. What is this part of the accelerator anyway? CERN is like it's like a massive undertaking with like several countries. How can this guy just kind of run a particle accelerator just in the middle of nowhere by himself? Oh, oh of course the old electricity hits a thing while it's running, which causes you to go into another dimension. Obviously. Oh. And he's reacting quickly, but he's not swimming up effectively. Okay, I take it back. That looked a bit cringy. Press A to continue. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, but if I press A. Oh, he's trying to swim up again, and uh, he's not doing too well. And then, oh, I'm playing now. That's what's happening. Press A to continue. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I see. I actually push up. There we go. 
And I made it onto this weird world. Ah, I'm controlling it. Oh. This is a bit Abe's Odyssey esque, isn't it? You know. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. But you got your little your little two step jump and your little move a bit. Can I jump off the edge? Yeah. Oh! Oh no, I'm here and I'm swinging. And I've just come back here. Let's go this way again. Can I now jump off the edge properly? No, it won't let me do that. That was a one time thing. So this maybe this is some sort of like point and click adventure game adapted for the Ouya. Definitely not on planet Earth, because I think you can see like some weird like to me. Oh, is that? How's the creepy arm thingy again? Yeah, let's not stay here. I've only got an hour to review this because I need to get to bed because I have a proper job. Not, you know, this isn't my, uh, where I earn my. Oh, I'm dead. Press A to continue. Start again. I'm here again. <laughs> I've only got an hour to review this sound. Wasting my time. Dying. Thanks to little leeches. I'm intrigued though. A little uh, monkey thing up there. Lion thing. Gorilla. So. Oh. Okay, I need to try and jump over those, I think. Dodge them in some way. I think the thing I'm liking most is just the aesthetic of all of this. It's a very distinct art style. Jump. Yep, got past those little parasites. Jump. Jump. Ah, oh, okay. This is not going to be very exciting if I just keep dying. Is there any better way of getting... Oh, okay, I'll just... Right, have I just got... I can kick? Something tells me kicking them is not a clever idea. Let's give it a go, because... Oh yeah, I can kill them. Awesome. Right, that's how I get past them. This guy doesn't seem like particularly... Ah... Oh. Yeah, yeah, we get it. I'm dead. Come on. Feedback for game. Don't start with difficult parasite puzzle. Probably not that difficult. I'm just... There we go. Oh, I can uh, extend out further than I thought as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem too worried that he seems to have arrived on a planet. Ooh! He does not look good. Uh, I literally just have left and right. Okay. Oh, I've died again. Oh, I'll start here now. That's good. Maybe the game's like giving me more and more closer checkpoints the more I die. It's just like, okay, this guy, he needs a lot of help. Let's, uh, Let's not throw him back too far. Was that picture showing me that I could kick? Was it just like a little... Look, just kick, okay, and then the parasites won't bother you. I think I need it, to be honest. Right. Okay, that gorilla guy's there. Let's try attacking him head on. No, nope, didn't work. Uh, what to do against... Gorilla Man. Kick. Yeah, this game is it's not doing any kind of hand holding, is it? <laughs> Can I? He's not chasing me. Oh, yes, he is. Alright, I've got an idea. I'm going to see if I can lead him into the parasite nest. 
over here. All right, so. I spot him. I run away. <sighs> I'm getting quite cheesed off with this game. Okay, he's faster than me. Right. He's faster than me. Oh, I can duck. Do I duck the moment he... Or she. Could be a female gorilla. The moment she... Pounces. And she goes over. Right, let's wait here. Probably just be ducking anyway. Come at me, bro. Not gonna happen, I guess. I mean, the other the other direction. It was just. It was just that like edge of the cliff, wasn't it? Face. Right, if I let's see how far I can run to the left when the gorilla appears. I don't have any kind of infantry, do I? Oh! Okay. Settings. Normal mode. Okay, no, I don't want to. <laughs> I've already taken like. How long have I been playing for? I've already taken 12 minutes. Alright, arrival. Let's see what I've got in my inventory after I take out this last parasite. Yeah! Right. What? When I, when I press the start button, it takes me to here. I'm trying to see what's in my inventory, but I can't. Right, I'm literally pressing every button. Right, that's... Oh, of course, yep. And they did. Yeah, when I press the start button... What settings have we got? Oh. Hard or hardcore. I cannot handle just normal mode right now. Help. Oh. Where's my gun? Oh, I want a gun. Right. Tap, yeah. Walk. Tap, tap. Run. Up. Do a little leap. Kick. Down to crouch. What is that though? Oh, uh, what is with these weird hieroglyphic instructions? Black circle, pull your gun out. Oh, quarter circle, shoot. Half circle, shoot more. Maybe it's like, how long are you... I, I feel like I, I need to actually... Pick up my weapon, but there's a there's a running. Ah, oh, right. Let me take care of this guy. Then, if I these insects have been taken care of as well. Right. If I can run to the left now, I can maybe outrun the gorilla. There we go. Right. Scary gorilla dude, run to the left. He's chasing me, or she. Oh, oh, I've worked it out. 
Oh, this is clever. I like this. I like it when I when I can do it. All right, insects go away. So I think remember that little rope thing far off to the left. Well, if this is gonna work out correctly, let's just see. He's chasing me. Trips. Still chasing me. And then. Gotta run this way because I imagine. Yep, chasing me. Oh, this is scary. Oh! Oh! Laser dude. Hey. He does not look like someone. Oh! Oh! Why does it keep bringing me back to... Uh... <laughs> this is just the end of the demo. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be slightly different from my last review. Uh, right, let's clear these away. Yeah, definitely a bit of an Abe's Odyssey vibe. Like the alien planet. That was up to that, but it's just the whole you run away and you enter a different screen kind of thing and many uh, many an hour spent on Ames Odyssey being chased by those alien creature things. Jump up to here, swing round, go to here. And then Lasered. Then I have a brief moment to introduce myself. Hello. And then he just shoots me. Oh. And then that happens. for 4 .99. yeah that's definitely the demo maybe that's all there is to the demo I mean it's all you need I guess like um, yeah it's all you need I guess because shows you like overcoming like one sort of puzzle with the ape dude and then yeah you overcome the puzzle with the ape dude and then so you've got an idea of like how the game's going to be playing out. You're going to come up with ingenious solutions to get around things. Right, the ape dude chases you. You're clever enough to work out that you need to use the rope over here to get around him. And then in the full version of the game, the laser dude lets you go and you explore the rest of the world. I get up. I'm literally pressing every button, there's nothing else I can really do. I'm looking at him, I feel like maybe there's a clue here, like... He's got a... Yeah, I just... I just die at that point. Um... If I... Oh... I don't know why it keeps bugging out as well. Right. What is hardcore mode? I, I just gotta see what. Yeah, reset all progression. Let's enter hardcore mode. <laughs> Whatever that means. Let's just skip straight to arrival. Oh! Back to the game. Can I not play hardcore mode? No. Maybe I can't. Right, it's just the demo to be fair. Back to game. 
Exit game. Yes. Oh, this is buggy and annoying. There you go. Another world. A captivating adventure. Yeah, I was captivated. I wanted more than like four screens. The actor plays the part of Lester Knight Chaikin. Am I the, the actor? What? Are you right in the middle of doing his experiments? Yeah. 20th anniversary edition, specially thought out for Ouya. Three difficulty modes. More information. Uh, do you get anything else in the demo? That's just, that's all I want to know. A nice demo ends here. Would have been nice. Um, I'll Google that. Um, and put a little note in the actual video as to whether that is literally all of it. Got a bit of time, let's play Just Rain. Let's hopefully, hopefully this isn't as, uh, what's the word? When you can't see three things. Obscure, maybe? Yeah. Just Rain is a soothing audiovisual rain simulator. Listen to varying degrees of rain sounds. Is this just, you, you just hear rain? Well, it's called Just Rain, so it'd be aptly named. There's no option to purchase it, I don't think, so. Just Rain. I think I'm controlling the direction of the rain as well. If I, if I hold the stick left, it starts going to the left. If I bring it down. Ah, oh, it gets, gets more. What, stream? Yeah, just rain. I go up. No more rain. Yeah, lots more rain. Uh, I'm having trouble focusing, aren't I? That's it. I'm sorry about the uh, video quality. No rain. Lots of rain. See, when I started my last review of uh, Magic Rampage, this is what I thought I'd be doing. Like, this seems like the entire... Oh, I can donate 99 cents. Clock. Oh. Oh, that's, that's cute. 9.03 p.m. It's not 9.03 p.m. It's 10.03 p.m. All right, so it's out by an hour. Probably daylight savings or something. Rain changes direction or intensity over time. Oh, I still have to extra thunder. That's what we want. No, no, not purchase confirmation. No. Oh, why did I... Why did I do that? Did I actually, did I actually spend a dollar? Uh, it's not the end of the world if I did, but why that's back. Okay, look. The red button, the button on the far right of the controller, button that's usually B, but because Ouya have to use their name for button letters, they call it A. A is always like the accept button. Anyway, the red button, the button on the right of the controller, that is always the back button. It's the back button in Magic Rampage, they knew what they were doing with the back button. Oh, why would you make the back button the donate button? I know why they make the back button the donate button. Because, you know, it's just cheeky and me accidentally pressing A would send a donation. I'm going to check my bank statements later just to see if I did. I won't challenge it because it's a dollar, but that's very sneaky. I'd like to know how much money they've got after doing that. No rain. Lots of rain. I actually, I actually quite like this. I'm going to show my wife this because I think it's quite funny. Um, but yeah, that is just rain. I think you get exactly what you expect with that. Exit app. Okay. Next game. Oh, powering through this compared to the last time where I spent around three hours. Um, get on top, hopefully not a suggestive game. 
one gamepad, two players, or two gamepads if you like. From the creator of Quop, this is what I want to see. There is a buy for two dollars or ninety nine even. Uh, whether you're both sharing one gamepad or using each your own, the game is the most pleasurable activity two human beings can possibly engage in. I feel like they are getting a bit uh, suggestive. I'm guessing you just uh, this is going to be a fun little physics-based game. I'm not going to buy. That's a interesting way of showing what your current selection is. Just have it vibrate manically. Um, let's play. I'll play against myself. No. No innuendo or comments suggested there. So you use those to jump and those to move. Push, pull, jump. Oh dear. If anyone does end up watching this, the comments are going to be hilarious. So if I go this way. Oh, get on top. Why is it all like okay? The camera's not struggling to focus. The TV is not in focus. Did you? The whole point of the game is it to decapitate the other player. Yeah, like your body. So you've got a red bo body and a human, a uh, red body and a blue body here. When one of them decapitates, you will turn to the colour of the winner. I think. So you pass. Yeah, because the red person just got a, a point for the blue person getting decapitated. Okay, this is a uh, really not as suggestive as you'd think from the outside. It's more violent. Um, all right, let me try and simulate two people and what a gripping fight would be like. Why, like, the numbers are vibrating? Why? Uh, uh, uh. I can't see a match lasting more than a few minutes. And I feel like if you try and do anything yourself... Oh. This is the kind of game where you're more likely to cause yourself to lose than... ...have someone skillfully take you out. This is literally all there is to it. Good to know you only need one controller to play it though. I guess. I don't... What What do you get for the $2 buying version? I'd like to know. Do you just... I don't know. End goal score to get to? Oh no, 11. Oh yeah, of course. Just like all uh, table tennis-like games, player two wins. Buy the game, play all you want, or wait and play a game tomorrow. Oh, you get one, one a day. That's what you get for the two dollar version. That's literally it, but you get one a day. Cool. Do you know what? Do you know what Magic Rampage gave me? It gave me thirty long grueling levels and like a whole story and everything. I know I was complaining earlier but I feel compared to the games I've just been trying now. Uh, I don't know what... 10 levels of that Magic Rampage game. That would have been a nice... a nice uh, perfect amount. I played some demos on the Switch like they give you like a good amount. Like, I played the demo of Rayman Legends and that was like that was a good six levels. I felt like that's a good amount like that game, well that, okay, well, in terms of ratio, I guess Get On Top just gave you the entire game, just you can only play it one day at a time, play it once per day. Alright, Ice Rage, here we go, looks like some sort of hockey based game. Is there a purchase option for this as well? Uh, doesn't look like it. Um, Red team, but a single player. Unlock full game. Okay, yeah, you do need to spend money for that. Rage off, survival of physics, defeat three foes in deathmatch. One opponent of your choosing. Oh, let's do. Let's go on easy after playing 
another world. I don't want to. Uh... Ah, scored a goal. I'm the red person called Jenny, apparently. This is this is quite enjoyable. I like the little uh, again aesthetics. They're great. Don't bother with graphics. Bother with aesthetics. The little cubey people it gives this game a little a little bit of character, and I guess there was some implication that there was some uh, violence involved. But if it's little cartoony creatures, then the violence isn't so bad. I always say. I mean, imagine. Oh, sorry, dude. Imagine what a live-action Rick and Morty would be like. It would be horrifying, but it's it's kind of funny because yeah, it's cartoons. You can't be a too much of a horrifying cartoon unless you are Ren and Stimpy, who perfected that genre. Uh, what's the score to? Oh, it's until that time goes down. Can I just... Ooh. Does this person ever get angry? Maybe I should turn it into hard mode, just to see what it's like. Okay, I feel like this is like quite an appropriate demo as well, because it's uh, it, it's giving you like a little match of what you'd expect to play. Get on top, I guess it showed you the entire game, just let you play one a day. Uh, another world. Red Winds. Menu. Single player. Rage Off. Yeah, let's go easy for now. Ooh. Oh, they've got a health bar. Have I not? Oh, I am losing health. Does the score matter here? I can't see a timer, and I can see a health bar. Maybe, maybe getting a goal actually will reduce their health even more. I think that's the point. Yeah, there we go. You get a goal, you actually take down their health quite a bit. Might be quicker than actually just beating them up. They lose emotional strength. So this is what I wanted my last video to be. It was like me briefly reviewing like four or five games because the demos of them aren't that aren't that uh big. Oi. Oi. I need a, at least about. I need to make sure I lose less than a third of my health because apparently I'm facing up against three, three people. Uh, my controller's like having a bit of sync issues. And the character's not really responding. Ooh. Oh. Oh, my character's called Jenny Gore. That's a little bit of a theming. Um, I'm facing off against Sir Mark. Oh, come on. Ah. Tell you what, just for this, I'll just try and finish off Sir Mark and then I won't bother with the other two. You up. I'm on easy mode as well, so it's a bit embarrassing if I lose. But I can't control my carriage. <laughs> I only just had like five shots at goalie.
Oh, come on. There we go. That's what we want to see. I think it's a goal. This is really bad news. Come on, come on. Just uh, beat him up. Ah, I'm getting ice rage. <laughs> yeah! Finish him! Ah, c combo <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. Oh no, what am I doing? What am I doing in my life? Oh, there you go. Good on you, Sir Mark. Taking care of that bully who is me. Okay, I'm not going to face up against this guy as well. Quick, that was a fun little... Oh, daily sessions one. Oh, this is another thing where, yeah, they limit you, but you can also unlock the full game, which I will not be doing. Exit game. How um, much time do I have left? Oh, I still have a good uh, 25 minutes. Let's see what else there is to... Play. Play those games. Flash out two. Uh, I don't know why, but I'm feeling more drawn to Marvel Go Go, and it just looks like a silly game. Feel the Go Go and conquer icy mountains, vast deserts, challenging green fields, rolling your way across four, sixty levels in five different worlds. You know what, actually. I'll save that for the next video. Let's go flash out two. Buy for eight dollars, no thanks. Flash out two is the sequel to flash out one, surprisingly. Again, not played the original. I might look up another world on YouTube though. Like I'm I'm intrigued and I wanna know how you get past that laser dude. Choose your language. English. Very good. First game come across on the area where they let you select a language. Oh. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Flash out two. Flash out F2, that says. Uh, single player. Loading. <laughs> what? Okay, usually when you show the controller, for things, you say, this is to go forward, this is to go back, what are these hieroglyphic symbols? Career, single race, what can I do career, like how much of career can I do? Is there a story here? It just looks like a, oh, yes there is. Loving this banging soundtrack. Is there a storyline or is this just pumping you up? I am ready. Yeah. Oh. Welcome. You've been rewarded with a welcome gift of. 5,000? Wow. Was I... Is this a welcome gift, or have I been rewarded with it? When you're rewarded with some... Uh, I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay. Ignite Trophy. I am digging this soundtrack. This might be the best bit of the whole game. Regular race. Do whatever is necessary to win. In Los Angeles. Ooh. Man. I'd assume this was some sort of gonna be some sort of futuristic made up city names type type of thing like uh like you know F Zero. Oh wait, is this called Flash Flash Out Two F Two? Oh my god, bitch! <laughs> You've got F Zero, which is the Nintendo game, which is well known. The guy, the Captain Falcon dude in that game is in a is in Smash Bros. You'll have, you'll have seen the memes and the Falcon Punch stuff. But yeah, and this is called F2, or Flash Out 2. 
and it very much plays like a Captain Falcon game. Yes. Music's decent though. Music in a Captain Falcon is also decent. Yeah, the racing's you know it's kind of decent as well. Like I could always just play Captain Falcon as well. All right, I'm getting things. It looks like I'm getting money, dollars, dollar, dollar bill, what's it all? Oh, yeah, I can fire stuff. What position am I in? Uh, oh, I've been shot. Oh, hit. Yeah. Oh. I know we're living in a world where usually things are, you know, free due to various methods or you pay for subscriptions like um, like Spotify or Netflix and stuff. But this is the kind of music where I feel like at a certain... Oh, I died. I'm back on the track though. I feel like a certain time or... Yeah. In a certain time in history, you'd pay the $8 just for the soundtrack. Now the $8 has to get you a soundtrack and a whole game as well. I don't know if that makes a uh, comment on our society or not. I mean, I'm not judging, like, I'm definitely... Oh, I came second. Lost. Less than one second behind Aaron. Yeah, not making any statements or judgments, because, like, you know, I'm part of the generation which has created the world we're living in. Ooh, racing. Let's see if we can get first this time. I wasn't really trying that hard last time. Gotta get these. Gotta get a uh, shooty. Shooting it. Shooter some. Ooh. Ah. The one thing, yeah, that seems a bit weird at the moment is I'm not feeling much kind of feedback from when I shoot someone. Like, you know when you play Mario Kart, you you know when you hit someone, it, it feels good, you can kind of hear it, you can kind of see them spinning around and like, flailing around and you're like, yeah, I hit them, that, that was painful for them and now I've taken first place. Or if you don't, the only time you don't really see it is when you launch a blue shell because you're far behind. But you know, you know it's hit them, and you just get that satisfaction. And they, when it hits them, they know it's hit them. This, you don't really like. You don't really feel the um, sense of doing damage to the other craft. A bit sad. Why can't I have my my violence validated? I'm getting lots of dollars here. I wonder if we can spend them on. Probably not a lot in the demo. I'm not sure if this was the case with Zero or not. Again, I've not played that game in donkey years, and I've not released a new one in donkey years. But, um, I am already getting the kind of samey feeling from the, from the levels. Right, again, comparing it to, sorry, about the scenes there, comparing it to, say, Mario Kart, you, uh, ooh. Aaron's destroyed with a rocket. That was me. Maybe I'm not getting any feedback yet because I've not actually destroyed anyone. <laughs> um, yeah, in Mario Kart, like, every level is so distinct. Whips. It's just like, ah, oh, futuristic city, futuristic city, with boost pads around. Do you know what I mean? Oh. 
direttamente race complete oh, I don't think I did that well this time fourth Ooh. destruction race standings oh is this not a race race is I not paying attention Ooh, that's not good full game do you want to lock? No. Oh, that did not go so well. This is all locked, understandably. Single race. What can I do? Unlock circuit in Korea mode. Okay. How much time have I got? Still got a few a bit more time to be doing this, so I've got a lot like career mode, but okay, can I just see what levels there are? There's Tokyo and Warsaw at the very least. Like, I don't know. I wasn't paying too much attention to the surrounding buildings, but could you tell just from the background what So this is Los Angeles. How would you know that this was Los Angeles if it wasn't telling you? Like same with Tokyo and Warsaw, like, if you drove around New York, would you see the Empire State Building? If you drove around Paris, would you see the Eiffel Tower? I don't know, my Los Angeles and Tokyo, okay, there's a United States flag there in the background, that would give you some idea, but, yeah, if I didn't know much else, I would not be able to tell you that this was, um, not fun, that this was Los Angeles. I feel like the only point of actually sticking in real place names is to help you recognise that they're real place names. Right, I'm going to exit this game. I feel like I've shown enough of it. Play. Whizzing through the games compared to last review. Um, bomb squad. Let's give this a try. Eight par player party game madness. Blow up your friends in mini games ranging from capture flag to hockey. Seems a little um, finishing install one moment. Seems a little uh, Bomberman esque. You ask me, and if it turns out to be a Bomberman clone, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know, point it out. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad is most fun when played with family, friends, connect, one or more, one or more hardware controllers, just call them controllers, or install the Bomb Squad remote app on phones or tablets to use them as controllers. That actually sounds a bit, a bit innovative. Achievement in control. <laughs> Connected to the controller. What? Why did I get an achievement for that? Let's play. Single player. Onslaught training. Hi there. Welcome to Bomb Squad. Here's a few tips for training. Uh, let's skip tutorial. Let's just... Right, that's punch. That's jump. That's throw a bomb. Yeah, no, nothing like Bomberman. Apologies for that initial remark. Right, are you an enemy? You look like an enemy because you have a health bar. I feel like computer games are giving me a terrible view of the world. Wave two. Whee! Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? That's Arnold Schwarzenegger. Is he just as like Conan the Bar Barbarian or something? This is a fun little game. I imagine it'd be more fun, yeah, playing with other people. But that's not how I roll. Oh, 
Oops. Okay, can I get it? Whee! Little uh, ragdoll physics -y. Oh, oh, am I timed as well? Three more seconds. So I'm not going to be finishing this in about 10 seconds. Oh! Continue! Please. I want to at least finish these rounds. Flawless wave. I was not a flawless wave. I died. Good to know I can get a flawless wave though just by uh, dying right at the end. It was kind of fun. I don't know if it's a five dollars fun. Then no, they'd have to, they'd have to give me a, they'd have to promise a rich, uh, rich, deep and complex storyline on top of this bomb throwing to make it five dollars fun. Ah. Too close for missiles. Let's switch to hand to hand combat. CQC. Oh, that was fun. Onslaught training victory. Oh, another achievement. I like achievements. Woo! Happy bomb. Oh, the world's best scores are on the right. 480 you can get in there. That doesn't seem like a lot. I guess it's just the training level. Uh, come number 262 out of 100, it says right there below my sim for uh, rating. That's cool to know. Probably not that many people playing. 11 unlocked rookie onslaught. What time do I have left? <laughs> Sale, one time only. No thanks. I said no. Oh, was that, was that like a free, free to play style thing where I make you look at it for a few seconds before maybe go past it? It's just going to be the same again, just in a different setting and with different enemies. So the boxes, I think, changes uh, well what bombs you get. Ah, so our Schwarzenegger dude again. Oh god, these are sticky bombs. Not that, you know, I'm going to get many views from this, but I do feel a little bad that I'm reviewing what is probably several multiplayer style games by myself. It's alright. You know what, I'm going to leave it there. I'll go through all the games, give final thoughts, and then that will be that. Exit game. So, my thoughts. Starting with Another World. I liked the art style. It's very reminiscent of um, old point and click adventure games. I was intrigued by the story. I just want to know how to get past the laser dudes. I mean, it took me a while to work, get past the gorilla person, so maybe, maybe I can work it out. But if that's where the demo ends, that is unfortunate. I'll have to look, at, have to look that up. Um, 
maybe I'll just watch some on YouTube play it for a bit. Um, but yeah, I was intrigued, I was pulled into it, and then it didn't give me enough. Can that be a criticism? I don't know. Just Rain did exactly what it said it would do in the title. So, oh, not happy with the sneaky way they may have stolen a dollar off me. Um, yeah, but other than that, yeah, I like it. It's a, it's a clever little app. It's not really a game, but it's a clever thing. I mean, I've definitely had the Netflix uh, Fire show on, so... Um, it's fine. Um, get on top. That was a nice little fun game. Again, I'm not going to purchase it for two dollars, just because you know, Cop is available for free online, and I don't feel I feel like I'd only want to play this once a day if that. Um, but yeah, nice little fun game. Ice Rage. Sports games generally aren't my thing, but I did kind of. I do kind of like the um, the aesthetics here, the little cube, cube players that you play as, making the violence more acceptable. And yeah, it's nice, a nice simplified version of hockey. I've tried FIFA games. I I don't get them. Like it feels too complicated. I'm like, why can't I just shove my character into the goal on the other side? And they're like, no, that's offside. Do you need to pass it around? No, that is boring. I just want to. Chuck a thing in a goal. Flat out two. Flat out looks like F zero. I mean, the logo is even like an F two style thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. It felt like it. You know these kind of generic future race style games. I mean, F zero's done it. There's definitely other games that have done it as well. Uh, it's a sequel to the highly acclaimed anti-gravity race to Flash Out 3D. The, the original is called Flash Out 3D. It has a 3 in the name, and the one before it has a 2 in the name. Why is it also called Flash Out 3D? If... This is Flash Out 2, so Flash Out 3D was the first one. Why do you need to specify that it's the 3D version? Like, Gex... The game Gex, for all of those who used to who are that old, Gex, there was a 2D version, and then they had Gex 3D, I'm pretty sure it's called. That makes sense, because then you had a 3D version. Ah, oh, you don't need to call the first version Flash Out 3D. That's made me more annoyed with it. Yeah, it's just, like, it's racing around real cities, and you can't really tell what cities they are. I mean, I had the American flag, but I don't know, maybe you could in future levels. And Bomb Squad, yeah, nice little fun, happy, explodey, violent-y type game. Again, cutesy characters, so the explosion's all fine. Um, interested a little bit, because they had one person in there which definitely sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger, and I was wondering, do they have more references like that throughout the game? Did I miss some of the references? I don't know. Definitely a game that would be a lot more fun with more players. And, yeah, that's all I'm doing for now. I'm actually... Quite interested to see Marble Go Go <laughs> and Shark. Yeah, that'd be fun to see. But yeah, that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.